Hi, this is Kevin Estella with Estella Wilderness Education, here to bring you some very quick tips on how not to get lost. Now, I know there's a lot of emphasis on not getting found, anti-tracking if you want to call it, but sometimes you have to put in a little extra effort to make sure that if something does happen to you, the people that are going to be searching for you can find you. The first rule is always tell someone responsible where you're going, who you're going with, when you're going to be back, and what you're carrying. This will give them a better way of assessing how urgent uh, it is to, to reach you. Uh, the second thing is, make sure that once you have that plan, you stick to that plan. So if you're gonna go to mountain A over here, but you meet a friend along the way, and he says, hey, let's go to this mountain, you better go to mountain A, because if something happens to you here, the search crew will look for you here, instead of right here. The final thing that you can do is to leave an indicator at home of what your footprint looks like. To do that, I'm just going to take a simple piece of tin foil, and I'm just going to take a normal stride right across it. Once I do that, and by the way, this is best done at home on the carpet, it's going to leave an impression on the tin foil. If I really want to make sure to differentiate my impression from someone else, I can take a blade, mark the bottom of my shoe, removing one of these lugs, and that way it separates it from the other shoes that are out there much like mine. So just to recap, have a plan, stick to that plan, and leave a marker of what your footprint looks like. Until next time, guys, stay safe.